stylists and welcome back to the Full Stock Ink channel for another video. I'm Nadia, the creator of Full Stock Ink. Again, I want to take another moment and I want you guys to be present. So I need you to breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. you to take a moment and just be thankful. Thank you for today. Thank you that you have a place to stay. Regardless of how it looks and how it feels, you have a roof over your head. Thank you that you have food on the table. Thank you. Give thanks. Be thankful that you have toilet paper. Which is crazy to say, but true. Be thankful that you are healthy and alive and grateful and hopeful and I hope that your family is healthy and alive and you are safe and protected. I just want you to spend this time being grateful for what you do have, not focusing on what's going on out in the world, what the news is saying, what's up and up and down our timelines. I want you to be grateful and thankful for what you what you have in this very moment, right now. You have electricity, you have Wi-Fi, you have running water, you have a bed. Because remember, those there are those who don't have such simple necessities as a bed and running water so i just want you to take a moment yes there's a lot going on there's a lot of death and sickness and sadness and anger and panic and fear but in this moment right now we are focused and thankful for what we do have this is a safe place this is a place filled with love and encouragement and God's light and inspiration it is created to act as such so I want you to just share this moment with me scholars I want you to be focused and engaged and leave feeling encouraged and inspired and know that you are loved and you are beautiful So, regardless of what's going on outside, I guys told you in the last video, I have been diligently creating masks and sewing and donating masks to those who need those essential workers that work at nursing homes and clinics and hospitals and um, those private companies that take care of elders or adults with autism, oh, not autism, adults with autism and, um, and those private owned clinics. For a few of my friends who are essential workers that work at homes that are social workers that work for homes with adults with autism and um, adults with um, dis uh, disability and in other small clinics as well as CTA workers, I have been creating masks and donating those as well as um, making a small profit for anybody who <laughs> wants to just help me buy fabric and thread. So. I have been diligently working away, doing my part in all this time. And as I'm creating and sewing these masks, at first I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't understanding the gravity of it. But I am praying and singing and worshiping God while I'm sewing these masks. Just to thank Him for the opportunity and let me use my gifts and skills in such a way. As well as praying over this mask it is a holy anointing that it is a covering although it may not be the the ppa ppe standard mask the n95 um but they i'm making the mask so they can cover the n95 with this mask and they're able to get multiple uses out of it and they don't have to just throw it away they can wash it and reuse it again in in this time of need they need whatever they can need they need whatever they can get and it's very little left of what they need so at this point they get what they get and they are thankful and grateful and i'm thankful and grateful that i'm able to do this for them so yes i'm fully aware of the brief of what's going on outside so i'm not just sitting here and be like okay guys let's just ignore the outside world no we're here 
because we need a moment. We need a moment. Now, with that being said, I'm here to share a few goodies. I have done quite a bit of shopping when I'm not sewing and um, working on other things that I work on. So I've done a bit online shopping as well as I needed to buy new supplies and new things because of all the sewing I'm doing. I asked you guys in my live last month that you guys were interested in a notion haul. A few of you said yes. So I am going to bring a notion haul to you guys. I've done some shopping on Joann's and Amazon. And I just wanted to share my goodies because I'm excited about these things. Some of these things are so cute. And I'm just like, oh, so cute. So excited. So with that being said, if you're interested in seeing a notion haul where I show you all my sewing notions and goodies and new crafts out of the box. I wish I had one of them laps thighs where I could actually see stuff on my lap. But see the way my body works. So first thing first, what am I going to show you first? First thing first is this. <laughs> so cute, right? This is a tin can with a handle. Adorbs, but it's what's inside that's cute. And it is literally a hundred clips. Now I don't know how much you can see, but it's just those wonder clips. And I have enjoyed using the ones that I got from Joann's. Um, but they are expensive. I think the pack I get is maybe ten, maybe twelve. And it's like ten dollars. And I only get it I only get it when I got a coupon like fifty or forty percent off. Or I have a twenty percent off gift gift um coupon. But a friend of mine who attended my sewing class back in August, when she was at my sewing class back in March, she had these. I'm like, where did you get this from? Like, you just got fancy with it. She was like, I got them this, the next day after your class. I got it from Amazon. Showing off by going here, this thing is like $15. And it's 100 clips. How cute. Clips. These clips are good for when you're using um, thicker fabric. As well as fabric that is a little bit more slippery. And it's just going to move around um the pens or you just need something just to pin it down i mean to clip it into place so definitely good when you're not able to use the pens or the pens are not working for that particular project or fabric really love these um it's just so cute and i don't have to worry about running out of pens so cute they come in all different types of colors orange greens blues pinks clear so cute I'm just gonna leave it right there because it's adorable. I kind of want to buy another one of these just for the um the tin can because I think the one that my friend have is different from this one. Speak speaking of pins, I also picked up a bunch of pins. This is literally a thousand pins. It's like twelve hundred pins. I picked them up because I noticed that me and my mom who was helping me with the mask, we kept having to work in rotation because we would pin, we would cut out the fabric, sew, um, pin up the fabric together, and then we would have to stop and sew what we pinned together because we ran out of pins and we couldn't pin everything together, the elastic and the mask together. So we would have to just go in a rotation of pinning and sewing, pinning and sewing. So now we won't have to run out of pins. And what I like about these is that they're in individual little containers, separate containers, they can all come with together i mean all come loose as well as they're in different colors which is really cool because if you have several projects you could almost cut a quarter color choreograph category coordinate color coordinate your projects by the color of pens and keep track of it like in a notebook and say today i'm going to work on the white pen project Oh, that is smart. Smart. Don't know if I'm going to do that because we need to use these now. But just a thought. They're smart. I just, I like how they are in their own separate casing. That's smart. Also, I picked up this Googleman. Googleman? Googleman? Googleman Create. Um, this is their also thread um, spools. I picked up a bunch of um thread 
I usually use the jumbo, like the ones from the Serger. Oh, the sun. I hope this don't mess with my lighting. Um, I usually use the jumbo ones that come with the Serger. But these have a bunch of different colors that are really interesting. And a good thing about this one is, oh no. There it go again, okay. The best thing about this one is it's more than just packaging. It's also a case. So, they have little um, pegs. So, there's little pegs in here that holds the thread into place. So, you can use this as actual, like, functioning storage. Probably about a bunch of them building on top of each other. Speaking of thread, I, my mom got me this thing, which is a cone thread holder. So, like I said, I usually, there are a few colors that I notice I saw a lot of um, red because that's full start in color. So, I have a few projects with red. Black and white because those are standard colors. Um, um, one of my friends who's also a client, she's a Delta, sorry, she's a Zeta. And so, she's constantly having me asking, constantly me having, constantly needing something him taking in taking out either red or royal blue so i brought a blue and then pink because i was working on a very special project for a friend um and pink tool so i brought i buy the cone thing so i just had them in a cup you know and then back in my sewing machine because you know standard, standard sewing machines don't come with a holder or detacher for thread this big so my mom was getting a little annoyed with the cup so she found this thing on joanne's and got it for me I didn't even know this was a thing, but it's definitely functionable. I definitely noticed the difference. I'm not fighting with the cup and it's not moving around as the machine is going. It's like just moving all over the place. Um, I'm going to insert some clips over here because I've already used it, which is why it's just the packaging and not the actual item. Um, but it's definitely handy. That thing is definitely handy. I think I'm going to get a second one for my old sewing machine because I have a new sewing machine. Another thing I picked up is another pair of scissors I feel like I'm becoming a real professional now these are the friskers um keeps fabric flat these are the razor edge friskers razor edge shears this says it helps keeps fabric flat because of the flat edge you're able to cut parallel to the table and fabric and not have to raise the fabric up i did need another pair of scissors working with the kids at the school i brought in uh, my scissors one day and they just kind of floated around the room and they were never the same again i don't know what they was doing so i brought like a little cheap look a look stand a little cheaper pair of friskers and it was cool but when i was hacking away at like multiple layers of fabric i did notice a difference so i did need a new pair of scissors Something else I picked up is this Friskers. I don't know what this thing is called. Anywho, it's a square ruler, corner edge. I got it because of the, the edge, the corner edge, um, to square off my fabric, if anything. Because, you know, I don't know what some of these fabric, um, Joann's and even, um, fish, Fisherman's, I don't know how they be cutting their fabric, but that's such a... So some of the fabric, even at fabric.com, some of the fabric don't be straight edged. So I use this to straighten out my corner edge. So I'd be able to get an accurate ma ma measurement of something, a fabric that I'm about to cut. So it's just, it's um, three and a half or three inches. No, yeah, three and a half inches. Um, by, f no, four. I can't, it's four. Four by four. Next thing I picked up because of all the thread and all the sewing I've been doing is two packs of bobbins. My new sewing machine is a top dropping bobbin um, situation. And so it takes the flat bobbins, whereas my singer was the one that took the curve, like the bobbins um, slightly, the case bobbins slightly curves it on itself. So I needed to get new bobbins, only had a few, and so I was able to pick up two packs so I can pre-wind my bobbin. I'll probably do that this weekend or next week. Just sit down and pre-wind a bunch of different bobbins in the different colors I need. So I'm not constantly having to stop every time the bobbin runs out and re-thread. So I think, I don't know, it may be satisfying. I've seen a post 
on Instagram, somebody said it was very satisfying to pre-wound their bobbin. So I'll see. I'm not even, I'm not one of them, no one of the people that the, the satisfying, like something being cleaned or cleaned away or cut up or, I don't know, that don't work for me. My mind be like, okay, I'm bored. What's next? Um, speaking of what's next, I brought a new disappearing ink pen. Mine was old and you couldn't barely see it. So I brought a new one. This one is in purple because mine was like a light blue. And so I need another color as well as something that's going to give me a little bit of punch. Speaking of Mark, I also picked up a box of Taylor's Chalk from um, Amazon. I will leave links to anything that I can in the description box. So this is just a box of Taylor's Chalk. And it's just a bunch of different chalk. Bunch of different chalk. So there's yellow, there's this orange, there's blue, and then there's white. And I think this was like maybe $10. And it's just want to be the best Taylor's chalk I think it's 10 yeah there's 10 there's 10 different chalks in here and it I think it was maybe ten dollars it could have been like maybe even six five ninety nine or six ninety nine something like that and lastly I picked up some um this is artist tape um Taylor's tape Basically, the tape that you would use on your dress form. The tape that you would use on your dress form in a bunch of different colors. Um, if you ever watch Project One Way and you see the designers taking tape and like molding it around the dress form to, um, to because they want to work on like how the neckline is going to look and um, where a seam is going to be be placed because my dress form doesn't have seams like the princess cut seam and you know like it doesn't have those things because some dress forms and mannequins do i'm thinking i would love to use this to have those things pre-existing because sometimes i do drape on my that's what it's for it's for draping i sometimes do drape stuff on my dress form so so i'm able to actually measure where a princess neckline would be or where a neckline would go or where a seam can go on my dress form i wanted to get some tape so i could tape all you know tape that on there so i could get the best you know accuracy if that's the word and that's it guys that is my haul my notions haul real cute short simple video oh i also want to talk about my <laughs> my sewing wish list i had a very extensive um ambitious sewing goal for the month of march and april and i will be happy if i be able to get two of the of the few things i had on there so i'm just going to share with you guys some of my things and i'm going to insert pictures of the inspiration behind it um and one of them was something i've been working on for two years first i really didn't know how to um i wanted to do something else but the the item the garment just kind of created itself to be that way and i was like oh that's dope but i did i was butchering the fabric because i didn't know how to use it and that is a sheer coat i want to make a sheer trench coat i picked up this beautiful crystal purple organza at a thrift store years ago um it's actually some pair of sheets and it came in two and i picked up two sets so I don't know how many yards that is, but I have a lot of fabric. Some of it is cut up because, like I said, I was trying to do several things with it. And I was just butchering the fabric because I didn't know how to sew it. My needle wasn't sharp enough. Um, I needed a micro needle, not like just a ballpoint needle. But now I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly what I make. And when I was draping it on my dress form to make like a, a swimsuit cover up it kind of formed itself in these lapels and fell so i just let the fabric do what it do and i was like you finna be a coat boo 
And so I was in the midst of working on that. I found some ribbon and thread that matched it perfectly. I was going to do piping and trimming around it to clean up the edges because organza does fray. And uh, I was getting my life. But now it's just sitting on my medicine because I can't get to it. Um, the next thing that I was going to do, I was going to finish a project I started last year, but I didn't realize how extensive it is make, and that is some upcycling some jeans. I have a pair of some old vintage Avenue and Levi high waisted mom jeans, and I was going to take them and do the two tone jeans where um, the front is lighter and the back is darker. Um, but I wanted to do a special little twist and do a distressed frayed trim um, stripe down the side of the jeans. The fraying the, is what took me so long. And then they still, they a little tight. So I had to take out the size a little bit more, add a little bit more um, denim in the size to give myself a little bit more room. So that's something I wanted to do. And I'm really sad that by the time I finish it, it's going to be too hot to wear. And I'm just going to have to take it into the fall. Just going to take it into the fall. Another thing I wanted to work on uh, that was a sewing wish list was this spring floral 3D jacket. I seen this thing years ago with um, the Tassa Fairy. She made something like this like two years ago. And I was like, I want that. So I have a jacket in mind, an old bomber jacket. I have a few flowers. I need to get some more flowers because Joanne is having a sale on their flowers. And I wanted to make me a 3D um floral bomber jacket and walking around chicago looking like the entire botanical garden i wanted that <sighs> but again by the time we get outside it may be 78 degrees it's gonna be a little too far for that so either i could wear it in the fall or just have to wait till next spring this is crazy it's breaking my heart honestly um what else the DIY, the upcycle that I was working on, the upcycle man's shirt, I might have to hold that for the fall because, again, by the time I finish, and literally all I have to do is the sleeves, and I'm trying to figure out if I want to do a peplum skirt, a peplum hem skirt with it or something else, but the time I get back to it and finish it, it's going to be too hot to wear when outside gets turned back on that I might have to save it for the fall. It was a few other things, but those were the majority that I really wanted to get into. So I'm going to insert pictures of my inspiration or the finished product um, if I finish by the time this video goes up. But if not, don't worry about it. Um, but yes, guys, I just wanted to come on here and share my goodies and talk and just show my face with you guys and to ask you how you're doing. So please, in the comment section, please leave I'm okay. If you are okay if you are not okay please tell me please tell me I am serious even if you need to message me separately tell me you're not okay and we could talk about it I could pray for you I'm here um, I wanted to create an environment of safety and encouragement and love and know that you are loved and 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 care for and you matter to me I may not know all of your names I may not seeing all of your faces but you matter to me each and every one of you and i want i'm praying that you are well and you are safe and you're staying home and you have food water and toilet paper and with that being said i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching i love you guys so so much i hope you get up and play dress up i hope you get up and do your makeup i hope you get up and go sit on the porch if you can or sit on the windowsill and just breathe in some air <laughs> breathe in some air and just take a moment whether you take a glass of wine or you take a, a cup of tea and just live in the moment not in the panic not in the fear in the moment that you are able to be present and calm um okay i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna let you guys go i love you guys so so much so so much and i pray that you all are safe remember that you are beautiful and you are loved, you matter, but most importantly, always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time, stay safe, stylist. That's smart. <laughs>